Hey guys, I hope you guys can see me. Today is going to be me working out from the bed. And I thank you for the text and I thank you for the emails. For those of you who are truly um, ready for this, I am going to do it in slow motion and talk as I do it and tell you the ways that you can do it at home and then just build yourself up. I mean, um, you know, this was inspired by the fact that I know that everyone is on a different level and because I'm sharing my journey I also want to inspire those that are in different situations and different levels in their lives so this right here is something that once I tried it I realized that it is really a workout so I'm going to slowly show you a couple of different workouts that you can do in your bed to move and burn calories in your situation if you are a person who are in the bed or immobile where you don't really get out of the bed much you can do these workouts so let's get started and let's get these workouts going and i have my calorie counter on i just like to count calories just to see what the burn is going to be for some somebody my size doing it in the bed workout all right let's get started guys first off um you can stretch as well um i'm going to be doing these workouts in the bed you can lay as flat as you desire or you can lay up it's up to you and the way that you can stretch because I always feel that stretching is the best before a workout so you can do these stretches that I'm getting ready to show you so you'll be raising your hands up slowly clap them together release them down raise your hands up Together, you should feel the stretch in this area of your arm and then release them down and try to do that at least five times around five no more than five times it's up to you I don't want the numbers to be too high I don't want you to feel like it's overwhelming or too much work at your pace my goal is to just give you exercises that you can do in your bed so there was three this is four and down and number five all right you can also do the stretch that I do in the gym where I raise my hand over my head and pull my elbow in you can do that lean down so you count one two three four five and then do the same with the other stretch out grab your elbow pull it in and you should feel the inner arm stretch one two, three, four, five. For the legs, you can slowly push your legs out. Take your time, do it at your own pace. You should feel the stretch up in your thigh area, all in this area, and pull them back. Again, you wanna do everything at least five times. You're stretching your body, basically warming your body up so that way it can know that you are about to do a workout and put them back in. Stretch out again, and put them back in. Okay, last one, stretch out again, and put them back in, all right? On your, while you on your flat, get on your flat while you're laying flat, I got my head elevated just a little bit, and if you are able, Pull your leg up and pull it as far back as you can and you stretch this part, your quads, okay? You hold it, one, two, three, four, five, and you slowly release it. You should feel that stretch. And you pull the other leg up, pull it back as far as you can. You're gonna fill it up in this area. One, two, three, four, five. Down, up again. One, two, three, four, five. Down. Up again. One, two, three, four, five. Now, for some people, this stretching is going to be a workout for you. If you feel you can go further, you continue with the stretching on into the workout that I'm getting ready to show and release it. Okay? So now you have stretched your arms, you have stretched your legs, and now you can begin. 
the first workout that I want to show you. Let me scoot over some more. Maybe I need to bring this camera down just a little bit on the bed. Okay. It's the one where you lift your legs. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five. Let it rest. Breathe in through your mouth, out through your nose. Other leg. One, two, three. You hear me? One, two, three. <laughs> three, four, five. Now, if you feel you can raise it up higher, go higher. Okay? Now, for the arms, you're going to one, two, one, two. So now you've done one on each arm. One, two, one, two. All right? And you do that until you feel like you need to take a break. Other arm, one, two. And basically, I'm um, flat hand out, touching over my breast, coming back up, and going straight down. Okay? So I'm going to do one more on each arm. One. Two. Okay? Now we're going to go back to the legs. Lift up. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Other leg. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. All right? Now, after the legs, we're going to go into something different. You guys know I love the punches. Now, what we want you to do is make sure that you're sucking your stomach in as much as you can. It doesn't matter how big your stomach or your midsection is. If you suck your stomach in, you're going to feel that muscle once you start doing a workout. So, suck it in. And I want you to twist one arm over, twist one arm over, twist one arm over, twist one arm over, twist like that. And you twist four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You should feel it in your arms and you should feel it in your make your abs all this area here is where you should feel that okay now oh, excuse me if you are able to get up the next thing you would do for your abs is you would get yourself on, on your pillow and you would lift yourself up and slowly lift up one two this is for your abs if it's too much, just try to get as many as you can. If it's only one, don't worry about it. Keep doing that one till you get better at it. Till you get to two. Two. Down. All the way down. Three. Rubbing up my legs guides me and makes me feel more secure that I'm doing it the right way. And I'm going up and down as I should. So, up. Down. Up. All right, guys, so we did stomach, we did arms, we did legs. Do those as many times as you can do, and slowly but surely we'll progress with those exercises, and we will do more and make it more intense. Now, if you feel like you can do more, just up the amount of reps that you do. So if you are doing five um, 
a two sets of five when it comes to the arms. If you do this twice, five times on each arm, do it twice, seven times on each arm. Or add one more set. It's up to you. Change the numbers up. Confuse your body. Do things a little bit different. We're going to get into other exercises, but this is the basic one for those who may not be able to move that much. But as you get to strengthen these muscles and strengthen these parts of your body, it will definitely be beneficial to you. So like I said, Tuesdays and Thursdays are going to be the days that I'm going to share in the bed workouts. And we're going to do little different things in the bed and at home workout. People that like to work out at home and people who can't get out the bed, we're going to share those type of workouts. Do what you can. If you have any questions in regards to these, make sure you leave them below or you can email me at cprforthebody at gmail.com. I am on a weight loss journey. I'm doing what I can to share what I can and help people along the way so that we can get fit, stronger, and better and feel healthier. All right. Talk to you guys later and I'll see you guys in my next video. Later, Gators.